Although various organs like digestive system, lungs, skin, and liver are involved in removal of wastes from the body, their excretory capacity is limited. But renal system or urinary system has maximum excretory capacity, and so it plays a major role in maintaining normal body function. This video contains an overview of anatomy and physiology of urinary system. Before moving to further information, if you learn something or if you find information provided in this video as helpful, please motivate us by subscribing, liking and sharing this video. Renal system includes A pair of kidneys, ureters, urinary bladder, and urethra. A pair of kidneys, are located high in the abdominal cavity, one on each side of the spine, and lie at a slightly oblique angle. The asymmetry within the abdominal cavity, caused by the position of the liver, typically results in the right kidney being slightly lower and smaller than the left, and being placed slightly more to the middle than the left kidney. Ureters the ureter is a tube that carries urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder. There are two ureters, one attached to each kidney. The upper half of the ureter is located in the abdomen and the lower half is located in the pelvic area. Urinary bladder The urinary bladder is a muscular sac in the pelvis, just above and behind the pubic bone. When empty, the bladder is about the size and shape of a pear. Urethra The urethra is a tube that connects the urinary bladder to the urinary meatus for the removal of urine from the body of both females and males. Kidneys produce the urine. Ureters transport the urine to urinary bladder. Urinary bladder stores the urine until it is emptied. Urine is voided from bladder through urethra. Functions of Kidney Kidneys perform several vital functions besides formation of urine. The functions of kidney are Excretion of waste product Kidneys excrete the unwanted waste products, which are formed during metabolic activities, such as, urea, which is an end product of amino acid metabolism, uric acid, which is an end product of nucleic acid metabolism, creatinine, which is an end product of metabolism in muscles, bilirubin, which is an end product of hemoglobin degradation, and products of metabolism of other substances. Kidneys also excrete harmful foreign chemical substances such as toxins, drugs, heavy metals, pesticides, etc. Maintenance of water balance Kidneys maintain the water balance in the body by conserving water when it is decreased and excreting water when it is excess in the body. Maintenance of electrolyte balance Maintenance of electrolyte balance, especially sodium is in relation to water balance. Kidneys retain sodium if the osmolarity of body water decreases and eliminate sodium when osmolarity increases. Maintenance of acid-base balance The pH of the blood and body fluids should be maintained within narrow range for healthy living. It is achieved by the function of kidneys. Body is under constant threat to develop acidosis because of production of lot of acids during metabolic activities. However, it is prevented by kidneys, lungs, and blood buffers, which eliminate these acids. Among these organs, kidneys play major role in preventing acidosis. In fact, kidneys are the only organs, which are capable of eliminating certain metabolic acids like sulfuric and phosphoric acids. Secretion of erythropoietin and thrombopoietin Kidneys stimulate the production of erythrocytes by secreting erythropoietin. Erythropoietin is the important stimulating factor for erythropoiesis. Kidney also secretes another factor called thrombopoietin, 
which stimulates the production of thrombocytes. Secretion of Hormones Kidneys secrete many hormonal substances in addition to erythropoietin and thrombopoietin. Hormones secreted by kidneys are erythropoietin, thrombopoietin, renin, 1,25-dihydroxycholocalciferol, also known as calcitriol, and prostaglandins. Regulation of Blood Pressure Kidneys play an important role in the long-term regulation of arterial blood pressure by two ways. By regulating the volume of extracellular fluid, and through renin-angiotensin mechanism. Regulation of blood calcium level Kidneys play a role in the regulation of blood calcium level by activating 1,25-dihydroxycholocalciferol into vitamin D. Vitamin D is necessary for the absorption of calcium from intestine. Kidney is a compound tubular gland covered by a connective tissue capsule. There is a depression on the medial border of kidney called hilum, through which renal artery, renal veins, nerves and ureter pass. Components of kidney are arranged in three layers. Outer cortex, inner medulla, and renal sinus outer cortex the renal cortex is the outer portion of the kidney between the renal capsule and the renal medulla at intervals cortical tissue penetrates medulla in the form of columns which are called renal columns or columns of bertini it contains the renal corpuscles and the renal tubules except for parts of the loop of henle which descend into the renal medulla. It also contains blood vessels and cortical collecting ducts. The renal cortex is the part of the kidney where ultrafiltration occurs. Erythropoietin is produced in the renal cortex. Cortex is dark and granular in appearance. Inner medulla the renal medulla is the innermost part of the kidney. The renal medulla is split up into a number of sections, known as the renal pyramids or Malpighian pyramids or Malpighi's pyramids, which are cone-shaped tissues of the kidney. In humans, the renal medulla is made up of 10 to 18 of these conical subdivisions. Broad base of each pyramid is in contact with cortex and the apex projects into minor calyx. The renal medulla contains the structures of the nephrons responsible for maintaining the salt and water balance of the blood. These structures include the small arteries called vasa recti, small veins called the venuli recti, the medullary capillary plexus, the loop of henle, and the collecting tubule. The renal medulla is hypertonic to the filtrate in the nephron and aids in the reabsorption of water. Renal Sinus The renal sinus is a cavity within the kidney which is occupied by renal pelvis which is an upper expanded part of ureter and subdivides into two or three major calyces and about eight minor calyces, branches of nerves, arteries, and tributaries of veins, and loose connective tissues and fat. Thank you for watching this video. I hope information provided in this video is helpful. If you still not subscribed my channel, please subscribe for more such videos. If you have any comments or questions, please write in comments section. Please share this video with your friends and do not forget to hit the like button.